Welcome to Planetary Imaging. Which webcam? It turns out that the best camera for taking pictures of the planets is the lowly webcam, at least if you're on the surface of the Earth. You could use the webcam that you use for Skype and pop off the lens, attach some kind of a cylinder the right size that will allow you to insert the camera into the eyepiece holder of your telescope. And you can get some pretty good pictures that way. But you can get way better pictures if you get a webcam that's been designed for planetary imaging. Those cameras have higher frame rates, more control over the exposure settings, and a lot of little things that just add up to a much better picture. Once you decide to get a webcam that's been designed for telescope use, you need to decide whether you want color or monochrome. You can still get color pictures with monochrome. You do this by taking separate pictures through different colored filters and then recombining them at the end. Supposedly, you can get better pictures by doing it this way, but it's a lot of hard work. I'm kind of lazy. I've always opted for the one-shot color camera. On a color camera, every pixel has its own red, green, or blue filter on top. This way, you can collect all the colors at the same time in one shot. Now, over the years, I've tried several different webcams, and I've learned from other people's experience. Celestron came out with this Next Image webcam several years ago. It's designed for telescope use. It has a 640 by 480 CCD on it. And it was a pretty good camera in its day, but by today's standards, it's not that great. I do not recommend the original Next Image. Celestron has since come out with the Next Image 5. They skipped 2, 3, and 4. The 5 refers to the 5 megapixel CMOS. Now, don't worry whether your camera's CMOS or CCD. There was a time when one was better than the other, but not anymore. The extra pixels will allow you to open up your field of view, which is helpful for finding the planet. But then you're going to want to drop back down to the smallest 640 by 480 mode to capture your images. Unless your telescope is bigger than about 16 inches, all the planets will fit in 640 by 480. I highly recommend the Next Image 5. This is one of my favorite webcams. Since coming out with the Next Image 5, Celestron has come out with another Next Image camera, simply called the Next Image. This one is about $100. It's 1280 by 720. The quality of the pictures, though, is not that great. I do not recommend the plain old Next Image. Celestron keeps coming out with new webcams. They now have the Skyris series of webcams, which allow for much higher frame rates. The Skyris cameras are rather expensive, and I haven't seen many pictures taken by them yet. I suspect they're good cameras, but I can only say they cost too much for me. They allow connection via USB 3, which gives a much higher data transfer rate. But you probably won't need this high data rate unless your telescope is bigger than about 16 inches, or if you're imaging something big and bright like the sun. Celestron is not the only company that sells webcams. Orion has a few. One of them looks like it's a clone of Celestron's Next Image 5, but with different capture software. I've not seen any pictures taken with that camera yet. There's a company that makes webcams for machine vision use called the Imaging Source. They started to market their cameras to us for taking pictures of the planets, and those cameras were very popular for a while. Now, they've teamed up with Celestron to make the Skyris series of webcams. There's a company called ZW Optical, which makes this ASI 120 MC webcam. This is color. They have another one that's monochrome. And right now, these are the most popular webcams for planetary imaging. So, if you're willing to take advice from someone on YouTube, I recommend the Next Image 5 by Celestron for $200 or the ASI-120MC by ZW Optical for $300. I've gotten my very best pictures from these two webcams. The Next Image 5 has 2.2 micron pixels and 5 million of them. If you are using an F10 scope, you won't need any Barlow lens. The extra large 2592 by 1944 pixel array will give you a large field of view which makes finding the planets easier. It comes with iCap software for capturing the images, and iCap is very nice once you become familiar with it. The ZWO camera has 3.75 micron pixels, so you'll want to use an appropriate Barlow or PowerMate. 
I use this 2x Barlow by Celestron with my F10 SCT scopes. This camera costs an extra hundred dollars, so what do you get? You get this lens which will allow you to take pictures around the house. It's very nice for practice to help you become familiar with the capture software before you take it out in the dark. You can also use the webcam as a guide camera if you ever get into deep sky imaging. It comes with a cable that connects your camera to the mount. To me though, the biggest advantage is that it allows smaller capture sizes and much higher frame rates. The next image 5 can only give 52 frames per second at 640 by 480. The ZWO camera will give you 113 frames per second at 640 by 480 and you can drop down to 320 by 240 and get over 200 frames per second. This is particularly beneficial for imaging Mars. Mars is tiny and bright. Being tiny, I only need 320 by 240, and being bright, I can get by with an exposure of 1 200th of a second. I've been getting 24,000 frames in 2 minutes with Mars. For this ZWO camera, I use Fire Capture for capturing the images. Fire Capture is also extremely nice. Having good software really makes a difference. New cameras are coming out all the time, so if this video is a few years old, you might want to look around for even better cameras. In the video description, you can find links to the things I talked about in this video. This is the end of this video. If you'd like to learn more, then click on one of the four quadrants of this screen to watch another video. I have one on using iCap. iCap is the capture software that comes with the Next Image 5 webcam. Then there's one on using Fire Capture the capture software you will want to use with your ZWO webcam. The video on which Barlow explains how the optimal focal ratio depends on the pixel size. To see a listing of all my videos on planetary imaging, then click on the bottom right quadrant.